In our coverage of the Highland Park Parade shooting, we as a newsroom are also very aware that Chicago's gun violence, including mass shootings, often in underserved communities, continues. While the media attention in both cases can differ, one thing should not, according to the Community Justice Action Fund. It is a national gun violence prevention organization working directly with victims. And its executive director told me that it's critical to hear and share those voices. It's important to tell the stories of those who are being impacted um, and ensure that the, fo the voices that lead the charge of what needs to be done and how change can be achieved um, is put in the hands of survivors and those who have been impacted. Um, we just saw yesterday Congresswoman Gabby Giffords received the Medal of Freedom as a survivor of gun violence for her courage to speak up and talk about this issue and prioritize for her to prioritize it. But I will tell you, there's there's Gabby Giffords all throughout Chicago um, that are there, that are fighting, that have survived, that are courageous, that are helping their community, but their voices are not being heard and elevated. And, and we need to do that. Then one, we'll start to see real change. And two, we'll start to see what's really happening in our communities beyond this kind of uh, glazed over perspective that we're seeing in the media. The Community Justice Action Fund calls gun violence here and across the country a public health crisis. It applauds the new federal gun legislation, but they are asking local and state leaders to do more.